morning, Mustangs. Mrs. Belcher here with my best doggy friend, Bosco. And we're here today to tell you about something really, really special that's going to be happening at our school during the whole month of March. And it's all about helping animals in need. Yeah, you heard me. Helping animals. It's called the PAWS campaign. And PAWS stands for providing animals with support. And it started on March the 1st, and it lasts through March the 31st. Let me tell you a little bit about the PAWS campaign. Donations go to help support the dogs and cats at the Washington County Animal Shelter. That's an animal shelter that's not very far from Meadowview Elementary, just right in Abingdon. And what can you do to help, you might ask? Well, they are looking for donations of items like cat litter, cat food, dog food, and cleaning supplies like bleach and dish detergent. So, for the rest of the month, bring in any of these items. <clears throat> big bags, small bags, big bottles of bleach, small bottles of bleach, big things of cat litter, small things of cat litter, dog treats, cat treats, whatever you can donate. Go on and bring them in and we will set up a place to leave them in the front of the school, probably around the lemonade stand. So right now, if you don't know what an animal shelter is and what they do to help animals, enjoy this video. An animal shelter is a special place that provides a safe haven for homeless animals while they await a new home. Some animals come a little bit too thin, they need food, they need water, and most of all, they need TLC tender loving care to help them on their way to a new home. Other animals might be perfectly healthy and they are just ready to find new people right away. The difference between an animal shelter and a pet store is that an animal shelter, the only purpose of it is to take care of the animals and find them homes. The purpose of a pet store is to sell animals and make a profit off of them. The people who come to our adoption center come from all walks of life, young, old, family, single, couples, you name it. There isn't anyone who can't benefit from the companionship of an animal. Why it was important for me to um, adopt a dog this time from a rescue is because I purchased a dog last time. So this time I wanted to rescue a dog, rescue a cat, whatever little furry chose me, because I know that's how it goes, and uh, change both of our lives. About 20% of the dogs that come into the animal shelters across the country are actually pure breeds. This means that you don't have to go to a breeder to find a breed of your choice. And in addition to that, there are rescue groups that specialize in specific breeds. So if you go online and do a search for your breed of choice, chances are there's one out there homeless just looking for your home. Cats and dogs become homeless for a wide variety of reasons, and often through no fault of their own. Sometimes a family can no longer keep the pet, perhaps a family member is allergic, or they're moving to a new home that won't allow pets, or there are restrictions on how many pets they can have. Shelters provide a safe haven for animals when they don't any longer have a home, but they're not ideal, not for people or animals. Can you imagine living in a place filled with lots of other kids, where you don't get to go out to the playground as often as you might like, and where you don't have a home to call your own? This is the kind of life that the animals endure, so we hope that it will be temporary. And there are a lot of reasons for this. When too many animals are crowded into a single facility, they might become sick. They might not have the opportunity to get as much socialization or exercise as they would have in a home. And they might simply need a bed to call their own.
Shelters all across the country are looking for help, and you can help them too. One thing that a shelter will always appreciate is some extra bedding, towels, cushy blankets, soft pillows for pets to rest on and recline on while they're waiting for adoption. One of the most important and easiest things to do is to inform your friends and family members about animal shelters and how important it is to adopt rather than buying an animal. Make pet adoption your first option. When you adopt a pet, you're actually saving a pet's life. A pet that could have remained homeless, sleeping in a shelter, instead of in your warm bed.